Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the 31th episode. Like, no joke. This, this is no joke, bro. This is episode 31 of the Boku Cast. And I'm your living host. I'm your awesome living. Well, yeah, I'm your awesome host, Boku. But you can also call me Aaron, too. But I'm just, just calling me Boku for this. So, today's episode, we're going to talk about a lot of things. What's going on in IRL, what's going on in Tokyo, and like, and uh, and uh, and uh, what the fuck is going on right now <laughs> in the community. Because, oh boy, I got some things to say for, for drama. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Um... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, go, I'm just gonna go straight to the point. But uh, I love Ryuki. You know, this isn't a uh, April Fool's joke, by the way. This is actually true. Uh, let me explain. So right now, I'm rewatching Ryuki and Kamui Black Sun. On my, th and uh, the more I dive into this rewatch Ryuki, the more I'm loving it. Why am I loving it? Oh, that's easy. I'm turn, I turn my. Ooh, that's easy though. I turn my brain off for this rewatch because the best way for you to enjoy a show is you turn your brain off, and that's basically what I did for shows like Kiryuger, Alba Ranger, Decker Ranger, Hurricane Hell, uh, Kamari Zio. But we're not talking about those shows. We're talking about Ryuki. So. Last year was the 30th anniversary for Kamen Ryuki in, uh, I think 30th. I think 30th or 20th, one of the two. And, uh, oh yeah, 20th, my bad. And, uh, I wanted to be watching show last year. No, not really. <laughs> the last time I, the last time I watched Ryuki was two years ago, well, 2021, and, uh, well, I didn't have the best time rewatching it. It was not. It was not good. It was pretty painful. And uh, we're watching right now. I'm on the part. I'm on the Odra debut. And uh, let's say, my fucking god, I fucking love this guy. Odra is cool. He's no. He's no Makoto from Alba Ranger. No, he's way more sinister than him. That's for sure. Honestly, put. Put both those two assholes in the same room, and then they'll both try to kill each other. But to be fair, Ojo would be more deadly to than uh, Makoto, <laughs> because well, uh, a man, because, uh, one has the mind. The one, one just wants to fuck shit up because everything's a game to him. He doesn't care, but the other one is literally a sociopath who will kill anyone that gets his way. I mean, like, bro. The fuck to say, this is this, this is the same motherfucker. Oh, by the spoilers, spoiler for those who are not watching Yuki, but uh, this is the same motherfucker that uh, that made his freaking his freak his freaking vent monster contract ma monster eat his own brother. Now the one I'm talking about in Yuki, the around like I I around like the second half, uh, uh Asaka. Oja himself confronted his his long lost brother who uh he pretended that 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 he was trying to save him from the fire. He lied. He killed he killed his own brother. I mean no I mean the motherfucker started a fire just to kill his own family. The fact that this motherfucker, the fact that this bastard did this, my fucking guy, he did not give a shit. I didn't give a fuck at all. So, uh, if I'm, uh, so I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna start for doing this. So, what my opinion, what my opinion on the characters right now? My rewatch. I'm on, I'm out, I'm on like, I think I'm on like episode eighteen. I'm on the Oja debut. So yeah. So okay, right now, here's my opinion on all the writers that appear in the show so far. Sinji's all right. I don't hate him as I used to. He's just not my favorite. Ren, 
I fucking love this guy. He's my favorite. He's annoying and a dick. And yeah, he, yeah, he is stubborn, but but yeah, I like him. Also, he's asking. He's he's asking the main reason why I'm. He's asking the main reason why I'm enjoying the hell out of this show, this rewatch, because of him. Fucking uh, I want to say, yeah, Katalta Zelda himself. Oh, fucking Zelda. Well, I can say this: Zelda's an asshole, but that's, that's not all. No, no. Zelda just not an asshole. He's a piece of work. I love this guy. He's my second favorite kid in the show, but at the same time, I fucking hate him. I, it's like a loving hate relationship, I can say, with the character. I like him, but at the same time, my God, he's fucking annoying. That's why I like him so much. I love the fact that, uh,. I love the fact that his debut was written by Inoue himself. Because well, Inoue was the second writer for Ryuki. I'm like, oh, okay. So that so that's bring why he's acting like a sexist asshole. <laughs> because Inoue wrote for his fucking character. <laughs> Bridge three for three, huh, Inoue? First uh Zelda, then Kaiza, then fucking Drake from Kabuto. Jesus Christ. I I think I did it two days ago, but I made I made a treat on my Twitter called the Noe Pack. I don't think people I don't think people understand the joke behind it. The joke was this: all those characters were written by Toshiko no Inoue, and all of them are complete assholes. You can you can say that. Also, I, I also. I also sent a tweet that uh I I also sent a tweet that you see guy the the message here that they're all complete sexist assholes, and no no they fucking are. Kaiser would be Kaiser Kaiser would be the type of guy that would be sexist and uh yeah not surprised he would. <laughs> His fucking vibe of energy he gives off and fight every time I see him on the screen I'm like yeah no, keep this guy away from any woman including my. Because my is definitely his mother. I'll try and make a joke with the TV Nihon subs there, and that uh, that that failed. My bad. So yeah, Zelda. I like I like Ver, I like Katalta. He he's my second favorite character. He, he's my ah, sorry. Zelda overall. Katalta, my uh, second favorite character in the show. So sorry. Katalta, my second favorite character in the show. So I have a I have, a, I have like a. I have like a bias towards him, so yeah. I like him. I I love him, but I, I also hate that bastard. He's so fucking annoying. So they, they, so let's so, let's talk about his uh assistant, the second uh well Zelda. Well, Gorochan 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 doesn't become Zelda until the Zeo special. But uh, I fucking love Goro character. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on, moving on, <laughs> moving on. A sock, not sock. No, uh, fuck. Uh, oh uh, yeah, scissor. Okay, what? Uh, there's not that much for me to say. He was just basically a test. He was just basically a test dummy for Ren and Sinji to fight other riders in the show. That that's basically his character. He was just used as a test dummy for for uh for future battles with them from when they fight other riders in this war. So moving on. <laughs> uh Raya, I actually like Raya. He's no Chris from Dragon Knight, no, but Raya's pretty cool. I like Raya. I yes, I already know, I already know about his backstory that he became a writer because he he became a comrade because of friend's death. I know, it was emotional, but I have I have like a little bit of hot take to say. I actually prefer uh Chris's, I actually prefer his American counterpart uh version of how he became, how he how he got that suit more. The man, the man literally had freaking like the man had a like what? I think I think the man, Chris literally, was sick. Like no joke, the man was literally sick. 
and yet he was a comrade. And and he was fighting for, he was fighting with Kit and Len to help defeat all the evil comrades on Earth to protect the future of Ventara. How do I remember all this? Dude, I, I remember a lot from Dragon Knight, but keep <laughs> I wanna keep that in mind. <laughs> but yeah. Between Raya and Chris, I like Chris more, but I really do I really did enjoy Raya's kid the first time watching the show. You know when we watch Rao. And I still do. I like Raya. Raya's cool. So yeah. Who the Oh, yeah. Fucking guy. Ugh. Or people know from his American counterpart's name, Common Rider Druss. Druss, you not you know like the fucking uh no I can't I can't. Common Rider guy, I hate guy. Moving on, he's just a oh he's just a fucking rip off Ojo 1.0. I mean I'm sorry, that's basically how I see him. He's the prototype version of Ojo in a Tory. He's going to he's going. Don't worry, he's gonna get his comeuppance really soon by uh by Saka. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. Moving on. <laughs> who else who else do I have? No, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm enjoying it. We watch Ryuki. I think it uh first time watching it was boring. Because I was saying to myself, okay, so this is where Dragonite came from. I sat down and watched it for the first time. Bored as hell. And I and I fell asleep. Like, no joke, I fell asleep. I fell I felt like I felt like asleep when watching it. Oh wait, hold on, my chair attacking weird. Okay, that's weird. Sorry about that, but yeah, I felt like I fell asleep from watching it first time. Then I tried to rewatch it a second time back in 2021. I I made the finish like half through. Then around like the around, around like around like around like, around like blah, blah. sorry around like what episode was it? Oh, yeah, it was the episode where Kitalta was <laughs> was talking about his old his old assistant. And uh, that episode really got my nerves. You know, well I dropped the show after this. I said, you know what? Yeah, no, after this, I dropped the show. And uh well was it well was it worth it? Yeah, it was back then. Now I'm enjoying it, Ashley. I I'm enjoying it. It's uh huh. I felt like that uh I felt like that uh, I was missing something when I watched it for the first time and the second time. But now I totally see I totally see why everyone else like it. Yes, I guess you could call me a Ryuki fan. God damn it. <laughs> Yay. That's, that's fucking, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's wonderful. That's definitely wonderful. So, so moving on from Yuki, I actually want to talk about my last video. So, my last video, I was talking about, uh, my last video, I was talking about, about a friend, about an asshole harassing my friend of mine, and uh, I got an interesting comment from someone. I'm not gonna say his name. I'm just gonna say this. Please, uh, please, please, uh, if you're gonna make a, a valid argument, please, please, like, make it valid. Because the person, because, because the person who, the person who was commenting on my last video, the guy had, the guy had like no bound arguments. You can go look back if you want to, but I'll, but it's not worth it for you guys to go look at that. So yeah. Okay, that's weird. I thought I heard something. So moving on from that, <laughs> uh, let's talk about let's talk about life. So how's it going for me? For so how, so Boku, how's life right now? Uh, well, crap. So this whole week has been nothing but crappy for me, dude. 
Okay, so where did I begin? Okay. Okay. So, this all began about like, when was this? I think Tuesday. Uh, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, it was Tuesday. This happened. So, Monday, I made a treat. I made a treat called, I made a treat that was, I made a cool treat because someone, someone, okay, that, that's offensive. A Toku fan account made a tree showing, showing a clip of Hana and Sakura from Revice having a, had like the hangout, okay, you could say. I quote treated that. And, uh, I said, sis, I said, sister. So here's the thing, here's the, here's the thing. When I said that, I just, I just my mind bitch, right? I my mind bitch it after I made a tree. And yet, uh, tell me, yeah, around like 4 a.m. in the in the morning, I got a quote tree. I was my own business watching YouTube. I was it. Then I got a quote tree saying that, uh, I got a quote tree saying from, I got a quote tree. I got like, well, that tree of mine got. That tree, of mine, my, that tree of mine was blowing up, and my goodness, a lot of people were mad at me for it. I'm like, what? I'm like, what the? F I'm like, what the fuck did? I, like, I'm over here saying, what the fuck did I say to piss you guys off? I just called them sisters. That's it. That's it. Like, like, like literally, that's all I just called them. It's like, it's like people. It's like. <sighs> It's like people saying that uh, it's, it's almost like some. It's almost like I said like a curse word to them or something. But no, God for God forbid. How dare you call them that? Why do you think? Why do you think it was a good idea to treat that? I'm like, like what? I didn't know. No, I me. Mean, I didn't know the tree was gonna blow up like this. For fuck's sake! It wasn't offending no one this afternoon. So out of nowhere, out of nowhere, everyone's getting mad. At, like my goodness. Eight quote treats for the first, for the first, uh, for my, for my treat. Second quote treat, by FYI, I want to say this. Half of these are, all, half of these are fucking private quote treats. Just want to say that. <laughs> and, and before, before the whole, before the whole fiasco happened, I made a treat to clarify, say that, for the record, I see them more as sister instead of lover. But yet, people still went after me. Just because I call two characters from Revi, two females from Revi, siblings, as lovers. Now, also, just want to point out to you guys. Just want to point out. You guys do realize that uh, Aguilera slash Natsuki Hana literally almost became Sakura, uh, Sakura's aunt? Explain. So here's. So, since Gifu is technically the uncle, by that logic though, by that logic, Aguilera almost Aguilera almost well got married and became one. Became one almost got married to Gifu. And by that logic, once he did marry him. See what I became the aunt. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that uh sink in for I'm gonna let that sink in for those that are I'm just gonna let that sink in for a while for you guys. Nah I'm not I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say like this. I don't see them as siblings. Wait no wait hold on not siblings, I mean lovers. Because dude <laughs> Alright so let's talk. All right, so all right, so let's talk about that one scene from Revice with Sakura and Aguilera having their final battle before Aguilera became good. She said she loves Sakura. Sakura said, "Stop! Don't say that. Past tense." 
the community took that a different way. Now, here's the thing. Relice is a show talking about family and morals about that. And Aguilera, character arc, she never has a fan. She didn't have a family growing up. She never did. <laughs> she, was technically, she was technically raised as a freaking orphan. Just to please Gifu when she gets older. And well... And well, when when she saw when she, when she saw uh, Sakura, she uh, saw her like she saw her like as a big sister. Why do you think all those times they fight before Sakura became Jine, she was trolling her? That's what siblings do to each other. How I can tell this is coming from me. I have a little brother, and, I, and yet there are times that I troll him and he trolls me. Aguilera was basically trolling Sakura the whole entire time in Revice. I mean, first half when she was evil. Want to clarify that? Not the second half. And, and for fuck's sake, she sees. And for fuck's sake, when Sakura was literally abusing Love Coup, Aguilera, Aguilera told her told her to. Aguilera literally told, well, Hana at the time, told her to shut the fuck up and grow up and listen for once. Huh, that's funny. I'll, <laughs> huh, that's funny. That was, that was something, that was something that, that will be something that, uh, that uh, I can't. <laughs> that, no, I can say it. That will be something that, uh, siblings would say to each other. And also, do. Also, no, I can't say do. Also, to be fair. The girls remix spe the girl remix special was basically Aguilera, Aguilera, basically Sakura didn't treat her like family. Hell, the fucking uh, hell, Aguilera's theme song, Hannah's theme song, Ryan Bloom is basically her talking about how yes, she see how much her whole life she never had a family and anyone to protect, but now she fucking does have a family. She sees Sakura as like a big sister. And then she even said that in the fucking song. Also, also, the fucking actresses themselves even said, I can't, I can't curse. The actresses themselves even said in interviews that, uh, their relationships are like, are like sisters. And yes, yes it is. It, 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 it yes, yes they are. It is. It's just that, uh, I just find it annoying, though, that, uh, I just find it annoying, though, that, <laughs> that, a com that I made a tree, a quote tree, calling, calling these two fictional character from short, from short talk about family, sister, meanwhile, around, like, four in the morning, I don't mind my business watching YouTube, YouTube about, about to find fall asleep. Until my Twitter was blowing up, and people were and people were getting mad at that treat. I'm like, really, really. I didn't say anything bad to you guys. I said I'm sorry for record because I didn't want to do another crap. It's like it's like, <laughs> my goodness, it's like I said like a bad word to them or something. But no, I haven't, haven't forbid. I say sister. Like, like, dude, for fuck's sake. Tamaki. Even though I know Tamaki sent for Aguilera slash sent for Hana, she sees, she sees Tamaki like a brother, basically. No, like, no fucking joke. Even before, even after he was, even before and after he was Julio, the motherfucker basically treated her like, treated her... Like a sib, like, like a sib, well, actually, no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Ag Aguilera slash Hana treated Tamaki like a brother. Tamaki, on the other hand, treated Aguilera like a fucking queen. <laughs> I just want to point that out. just want to point that out. I just want to point that out. But, yeah. And what's my proof of this? 
she literally told Sakura to uh to protect Tamaki because well Aguilar cares for him like like a sibling. I'm sorry I had to go deep I had to go deep there. But yeah, I just I just really gotta get off my chest, dude, cause my fucking god like my god, that shipping that shipping fan base is annoying. Like I don't even care for the sh I don't care for I don't even care for the shipping, but my goodness, just because just because I just just because I call them sister on a quote tree, the whole the whole shipping community those the, that whole shipping community is gonna come after me like like I said, a bad word or something. My goodness, this community. Ay, ay. This community is this community. I I actually hate it. I love Toku, but at the same time, people can be very stupid to community. <clears throat> Speaking of stupid, so let's talk about uh what well, so let's talk about what the freak happened in the community lately with uh with everyone's favorite uh Mr. Bennett himself, Pookie. Oh god. So, there was a drama happening in the community talking about uh, Power Rangers show season not being on DVD. And uh, Simon Bennett made a tweet talking about how yet yeah, no one uses no one uses DVDs anymore. It's all about I think he talk he he talk about he talk about he said that he said that no one use like no one use like streaming DVD. No one use like DVDs anymore, and I'm over here like, uh, Simon, buddy. No offense, with all the respect, sir. You know that's you know that's blatant. You know that's freaking. You know that's a freaking lie, sir. I pretty much have every season of Dragon Ball Z, almost all the Dragon Ball Z movies. Almost I have GT and DVD. Don't have Super and DVD. Hell, I have I have a few of my favorite childhood shows on DVD. Complete season. Justice League, Batman anime series, Batman Beyond, The Proud Family, Avatar. Hell, not just that. I have fucking Gotham and Girlfriends on DVD. And I love those shows. Also I have pretty old lies on DVD. Don't don't ask why I bought that. <laughs> I bought that for nostalgia reason. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on, but uh, but yeah, Simon. No offense, dude, but uh, people still buy DVDs to this very day. So what the hell were you on about? Like my goodness, I get it. Okay, I get it, Pookie. You have a huge ego. Just <laughs> you have a huge ego, but buddy, you say dumb stuff on Twitter all the time. You get called out for it. Get off Twitter. Just, 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 Simon, please. Get off fucking Twitter. Are you supposed, are you supposed, are you supposed, ugh. Are you supposed to be like filming for Dino Fury or something? Or Cosmic Fury? Whatever the fuck that show's called? Why the hell are you, why the hell are you antagonizing stuff on Twitter all the time? You did it, you did it, you did it like, you did it fucking last, oh, no, yeah. Yeah, no, you did it. You did it about February, <laughs> when when the community was calling out, calling out the Power Ranger brand for for the racism issue of of the black guy being demoted from Red Ranger. You put your two cents in there, and that didn't age well. You got called out for it because you were being an idiot. And freaking last year, a friend of mine, a friend of mine called you out for your stupidity. He didn't like that. <laughs> and now here we are. Now here we are. You may get a dumb treat saying that, uh, <laughs> saying that, uh, saying that, uh, saying fuck. Now here you are making a dumb treat telling people for those who so, for those who have Netflix, they're too broke to go buy to watch once and forever, once and always, I meant to say. Now, I have Netflix, I'm gonna watch it. But I wanna say, uh Simon, 
you do realize you do realize that there are Power Ranger fans outside of America that don't have a Netflix streaming service. Just saying. So how the hell are they gonna watch this? Sh how the hell are they gonna watch this special? How? How are they gonna watch this special when they don't have a fucking Netflix? How? How are they gonna watch it? How are they gonna watch it? They don't have the fucking money to come all the way down here in America to hang out with their friends to watch that special. How are they gonna watch it? And my phone's blowing up. Okay. How are they gonna watch it, Simon? How? How? How are they gonna watch it, Simon? Because they don't have the fucking money. No, that's bullshit. Simon, there are other Simon, there are other things in life besides freaking pay money on a Netflix subscription to watch a kids show. That's ironic coming from me because I, I have like a lot of subscriptions for for streaming services. Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, Tubi. Just saying. Hell, freaking Rakuten Vigi. Vic, Vicky. <laughs> that fucking website. God damn it. I can't give so many ads for that damn Asian streaming service. Oh, you want clarify? It's a, it's an Asian streaming service website that streams like a lot of Asian uh, drama shows. Like drama, like J-drama shows. K-pop, like, uh, like, J, like uh, J-dramas in uh, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, all... Basically, basically, it's, uh, okay, it's the best way to describe it, it's basically the ja basically the Asian <laughs> website of Hulu, that, because, well, Hulu, well, Hulu, well, Hulu has, like, a lot of drama shows, but it's also this website, but moving on from that, Simon, there are people outside of America who doesn't have a Netflix streaming service, so how the, so how the heck are they gonna watch this? How are they gonna watch this? <laughs> How are they gonna watch this, buddy? Because you always antagonize something on Twitter, and yet you get called out for it. Also, what was the point of you saying what 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 was the point of you shit talking keeper that one time? When yet sorry, when yet you haven't even watched Dino Charge. How do I know this? He The only show that Simon Bennett watched was Ninja Steel. Because well, he technically he technically directed he technically helped direct Ninja Steel. He not he did not know anything about the Disney era. So moving on, Simon. Now, now Simon, you can't shit talk about Keeper. Yet you haven't watched Dino Charge. But oh no, don't worry, Dino Fury is. Dino Fury is top tier. It's the best Toku show. No, that, no, Dino Fury is garbage. This guy said the dumbest stuff on Twitter, and yet he won. He wondered why he get, yet he wondered why he get ratio a lot on Twitter. My God, goodness! You say something stupid, and yet you get called on the community for it. <sighs> ay ay ay! I swear. The Power Ranger brand not doing the the Power Ranger brand keep falling every day, and well, this is one of them. <sighs> yep, that's just. Yep, that's just great. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. Thanks, Simon. What time is it? Oh, damn. Thanks, Simon. You you really know how to uh. Thanks, Simon. You really do know how to well. You really do know how to look professional on social media. Get out here, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Simon, I know, I already know that there's no way in heck you're watching this episode. But please do me a favor. Delete your social medias. Because you cut, you cut, you tend to cause so much, you tend to cause so much drama on your social media. Especially Twitter, dude. You tagging that stuff on Twitter, and yet you wonder why people call you out. Like why the fuck? Like why the fuck? Like why the fuck? 
when you look at Ranger Board for Keeper, say you don't like Keeper, when yet you haven't even watched Dino Charge. And oh, oh, how can Simon watch this? Since he said, since he said, since he said that people don't, since he said that no one use, no one buys DVDs anymore. But that's bullshit. My friend, Sound Out, buys fucking physical medias of DVDs all the time. Motherfucker, I buy a physical copy of DVD. My dad does. Many others. So him saying that, so Simon saying that, is fucking bullshit. But it's okay, Simon. You can just go on Amazon and buy every Power Rangers season on DVD there. Just saying. And also, just gonna point this out, though. Beast Morphers doesn't have a DVD. Down Fear doesn't have a DVD. Fans demand a DVD at once and always because, well, again, there are fans outside of America who can't watch this because they don't have Netflix. And, uh, that's, and that's the only thing. And that's the only thing. Like, no joke. Fans outside of America can't even watch this, this special because, because they don't have a fucking Netflix. Again, I have a Netflix. I will be watching special when it comes out. It looks really good. I'm excited for it. But but besides America, fans outside fans that outside of America can't even watch about Netflix, you know, that's an issue. Hell, apparently apparently fucking Japan wanted to watch this as well. And it sucks that uh and it sucks that uh, they can't even watch it too. So Simon. So Simon. Yes, it is true. I can't. You're not in charge for. You're not in charge for the thing being a DVD. True. But a uh, buddy. How are you? How are you going to? How are you going to? Uh, buddy. Simon, I'm not trying to say anything r rude to you, but uh, you have fans outside of the U.S. that uh, that love Down Fury, but guess what? They don't have a fucking Netflix to watch the show, buddy. Now it's not it's not even on fucking TV anymore. So uh. <laughs> So uh, do you, so you want to, so you want to explain to me you want to explain to me something, Simon? Why do you act stupid on Twitter? Because dude, you act stupid on Twitter all the time. You get caught. Yeah, you get caught for it. Get out Twitter, Simon. Get out Twitter. Go read a book. Go buy a dog. Go do something. Just get out Twitter and stop antagonizing stuff with the Power Rangers community. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I just had to. Uh, I just had to get that off my chest because my fucking god, I just couldn't. Ay, ay, ay. I just couldn't. I just couldn't with this guy. I swear, he does something stupid all the time, and yet he wonders why people call him out. Also, I want to get a shout out to my to my one friend to my one friend, Cycle Twenty Seven. For trolling him today on Twitter. <laughs> Psycho, if you're watching this, buddy, I know you are. I know you are. I know you are. You watched the last video that I gave you a shadow on. You watched the last podcast episode that I gave you a shadow on. A shadow on. I think that was the Old Ranger episode. But yeah. But yeah. <sighs> Simon. Next time, please do better. Stop, let's just stop acting stupid. That's just all. That that's just all. He just needs to stop. He just needs to stop acting stupid because he acts dumb all the time. Yeah, he wonder why people call him out for it. Yep, that's yeah, that's wonderful. 
Ay, ay, ay. So, uh, let's talk about Jeets and King Oja. Last year episode of Jeet was pretty good, actually. I'm not, I'm not capping on anything. I actually have, I'm at, again. I have a fun time watching Jeets. I don't know, dude, I don't know why. But I felt I feel like that this show can be in my top. This show definitely gonna be my top ten. Because well, my top ten is definitely changing. That's for sure. And uh, shit, I might add fucking Ryuki to it. Cause I do every time, every time I watch like a new episode, every time I watch like a, every time I watch like more episode of Ryuki, it's it fucking getting up there. And oh uh, yeah, I did say this, but uh, I'm also rewatching Black. I'm also rewatching Black Sun. Why? Two reasons. One, I was I'm in a black sun mood right now. I still am. I only watched five episodes because yesterday I was because yesterday and today I wasn't feeling watching like the other five. I'm just I'm just not in a good mood right now, fortunately. Well yesterday well yesterday yesterday I was not in a good mood. <laughs> so yeah. But yeah. Also, the second second reason, uh the essay figure Shadow Moon, Common Shadow Moon figure from Black Sun is releasing this month. And well, I had the Japanese release on pre order and I, <laughs> I can't really take pictures of that guy. I have so many ideas I have so many ideas for him and Sha him and Black Sun, so that's gonna be fun. Hey yo Tomashi, when y'all gonna make Aoi's Mantis for <laughs> Damn it, you cowards! Give me what I give me what I fucking want. You know, you know, you know you want to do it. You fuckers, Bandai making a fucking CSM for her. Having a figure art would be perfect since she has a fucking Soto, and I don't want to buy a Soto figure of her. I want like a freaking six inch action figure for the part of my desk with Kotaro and Nomishko. Just saying. When that day happens, when when that day happens, Tamashi, you know, you know where to call me. <laughs> I can't even say that. There. My DMs are open on Twitter and Instagram. Just uh, just DM me and we, we and we can sort this bad boy out. Just saying. <laughs> okay, Aaron. Okay. Okay. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but uh, yeah. But back on, but back on the Jeets. Uh, I really enjoy Jeets. The debut of uh, the debut of uh, what's it called? Mark Boos. Uh, the the freaking uh, the debut of Mark Boos in the other form. I forgot what it's called. But really good fight scenes. I actually like Mark Boost way more. I don't, I don't know. The black and red just hits me more than the black. Since it me more than the other form. But yeah. Jesus, Jesus is really good. I'm enjoying it. As always. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I feel like that uh, I feel like that I can connect to this show. And I actually don't know why. But I feel like. I just feel like I have like a straight connection towards it. And that's why I like it so much. Why? Why is that? Is it giving you a blade vibe? Well, yeah, that too, and also, after I finished like uh watching Black Sun, I uh something in my head and my in my mind just clicked about Jeets. I'm like, fuck, I fucking love this show. And uh, yeah, that, <laughs> and yeah, that yeah, that happened. <laughs> So so yeah. Moving on, moving on, on from that. Yeah, moving on from uh. Moving on from that, let's talk about King Oja. Oh boy, King Oja. Last episode was really interesting. We met our Black Ranger. I forgot. I, I forgot. I forgot what his, I forgot his name was. But uh, he's a. Uh, he's a. Uh, He's a backstabbing tofu. I say tofu because he loves tofu, and that's 
and that's his land. He's interesting, I, I can say at least. I don't hate him, but I got a Bomba vibe from Vius. I got a Bomba vibe from him. And I, 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 I fucking love Bomba from Vius Soldier. You know, he's like the only kid in the show that I actually like. But that's just, that's for a whole different story. <laughs> That's for a whole different story. Moving on, <laughs> but uh, yeah, King Gold is good. Like the Max, like the suit. Except for Red. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna say. I'm just gonna say that. I'm not. Okay, wait. Hold on. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm just not vibing with Red suit. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I'm just not clicking with it. I mean, I like the color scheme, but just this suit is just, eh. I'm not clicking with it like the others. I like yellow, blue, purple, and blacks. Just don't like red. And I like the uh, I like the extra color. This the our hey, what our silver ranger. He isn't a six. He's an extra ranger. Just to clarify. Also, another one I'm talking about that is revealed that uh. There's a reveal in the King Old in King Oger for a certain spoiler between Gia and our well, between Gia, our Red Ranger, and the King of his uh village. Not gonna say what I'm gonna. I haven't, I haven't seen the episode, so I don't know the full context. But yeah. But all I know is that uh, the King of G the King who's in Gia's village. The king who's the king that rules the uh, village. He's the he's the uh, extra ranger of uh, in the show. I say extra because he is. So imagine him like a uh, Deca Master slash Zenkaiju Black. That's basically what he is. Not just that, but uh. Yeah, imagine like a Deca Master slash Zenkaiju Black slash like slash Magi Mother, and many other extra rangers from Sentai. That's be that's basically what he is. He's a he's an extra ranger. He's not a six. He's an extra ranger. And it looks like that uh from the it looks like from the from the picture that he's evil. I saw the, I saw I saw the magazine scans. He looks evil. I'm like, damn, okay. <laughs> this nigga has power. Oh, yeah, of course he does. This motherfucker Gia went to his castle, took his robe and his sword, and just said, F you. And now he's most wanted in all the villages. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. <laughs> King Old is really good. I'm at. I like the max. The the soundtrack is really good. And uh, I don't want to say this. I don't want to say this. For uh, for those that were complaining about episode three and the Yellow Ranger, drawing her uh, for the Yellow Ranger, uh, point of view by by having her leg up. I want I want to say this. Uh, the suit actor for that scene in the show was a guy. Because her suit actor is a male, is a guy. Just want to put it out. So, t so clean out your dirty mind, you creep, you weirdos. I just mean call you creep, but yeah, you weirdos. Clean out your dirty minds. Because honestly, just ill, just just ill, just uh, just fucking ill. And, uh, yeah, King Oja, I fucking love this show. <laughs> Dude, again, uh, it's like, I ha once, I want to say this, I have not watched the late episode of Jeets or King Oja, so I'm just talking about the magazine scans I saw today. Well, I saw a reveal of the extra ranger and the identity, which, which, which I already know who it is because, well, they show, they show. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, the extra ranger King Oja is getting a spinoff. He's getting a spinoff, and apparently, 
it's going to be on YouTube? Oh, huh, that's great to hear. Even though I can't access Toei Tokusatsu YouTube channel. I can't, I can't access it, but I can't watch the video, all the video due to, well, uh, I don't have a, I don't have a VPN on me. Just saying. If only I had a VPN on me, that would be wonderful. Look like I need, look, look like I need to find, look like I need to go get North VPN. Yes, this podcast episode is not sponsored by North VPN. To be honest, you. I'll be. To be honest, you. I'll be down to use NordVPN one day. Just don't have to subscribe. Don't have thousand subscribers for this to happen. I. Oh, yeah. oh, also, one point I want to say that if I have not been uploaded lately, I'm actually, I'm actually uh, just low drain right now. Because I was expecting the Zen Kaiser review to be really good, and it looked like it just did average. Like, damn. Damn, not a lot of people really care for it. I get it. I get it, the figure the repaint. A gorgeous figure, by the way. But, uh, like, I was hoping for the video. I was hoping for the video to do pretty good, but it did all right. I'm just drained from, like, I'm just drained for, like, uh, doing videos right now. Or taking pictures. I'm not in the, <laughs> I'm not in the mood, unfortunately, to take pictures. I want, I want to, just not in the mood right now. Don't worry, I guarantee I'm gonna change really soon. I just got to get my head in the game. Okay, okay, yeah, boys, I gotta get my, get my head in again. Gotta get that, get that. Oh yeah, yeah. What the fuck? I don't know, dude. I just thought, I just thought it was funny. I just thought I just thought it'll find just to say get your head in the game. But yeah, uh I'm drained right now, which is probably why which is probably why you have to see like a lot of videos coming out. I'm just uh I'm just waiting until like all these pre orders come through dude. <laughs> because well, I kinda fucked up, that's for sure. What do you do, Broku? Well, let's just say that I accidentally ordered something yesterday, and it's a figure. But uh, I found out that uh, I don't have the money on me for it to pay for the whole thing. So uh, I got two weeks now to get to get the money to pay the whole thing. But here's the issue: unfortunately, I can't pay on due date due to the fact that I get paid on. I get paid two Fridays from now and not on fucking Thursday. So, that's an issue. And that's just fucking wonderful. That's just fucking wonderful. Dude, this whole week had, this whole week had been nothing but, but pure crap for me. And also, we just had a freaking... Uh, Storm today over here where I live at. If you saw my if you saw my my tweet and my deleted of uh, voice message voice treat I made on Twitter, I was having a rant about it. So what happened to Boku? Well, let's see. I'll mind my own business. Like little my little my own business. Sitting up, sitting at my desk, searching on my computer. Look on my computer, my own business by by typing by searching for searching things up. Also, well, I was like binge watching Ryuki, and uh, the power went out two times because because there was a storm where I live at that that happened. And uh, well, after that happened, it started raining, and uh, boy. I got I gotta say the benefit out. I fucking hate living in Ohio. I made it clear on Twitter. I made it clear here. I fucking hate living in Ohio. Cause fucking hell, dude. It's hard being it's hard being like the only Toku fan in Ohio. Where I live in Ohio, I want to clarify. I'm not gonna say where I live at, but uh. But yeah, it's hard being a Toku fan where I live at in Ohio. 
because I'm the only one. And that's annoying. It fucking sucks too because I can't have a simple conversation about it. The only the only thing that people know about Japan is fucking anime. And I'm like, oh, anime. I love anime, but I don't have I don't watch like a lot of anime anymore. So I don't have that knowledge on me. It sucks though. I wanna have a I wanna have a conversation with someone I know face 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 about Toku, but no, I, there's no one here where I live at. It fucking sucks. It's annoying. <sighs> My goodness. Yep, that's a lot of gift for being an introvert. Wait, book, are you an introvert? Yes, I'm an introvert. No, not not without me. It basically means someone. It basically means someone who like to. Basically means someone like to be alone. And I'm like, here's the thing about being introvert. Here's the thing about being an introvert. I'm not a big fan of loud places or loud groups. I prefer being alone. So yesterday, uh, was yesterday. Yesterday we yesterday I saw I saw a few my I saw I saw I saw like basically basically saw like basically saw like basically yesterday I saw like my aunts, my uncles, my cousins, and my grandma, like my grandpa, on my dad's side of the family, and uh, I want to point out by saying this, I did not want to be there. I mean, I love them all, I do, but like, at the same time, it was just too loud. I just wasn't feeling it. I don't know, dude. It's just, I'm just not a big fan of loud places. And that's just basically what it is. I just want to be like alone, talk to a few friends, hang out with them, and that's it. It's like, that's it. Like, like nothing big or huge. That's just basically it. I don't know, dude. That's just, that's just, that's just how, that's just how I see it. Does it suck? Why is my phone blowing up? What the hell? Oh, fuck. Why is my phone blowing up? Damn, 10 notifications on Twitter. <laughs> Let's check it out, shall we? Okay, sorry about that. Oh, damn it! Sorry, I didn't, I didn't, mean, I didn't mean for that to happen. But uh, back on, but uh, but back on saying. But back on as I was saying is that uh, yeah. I'm just not a big fan of big uh crowds. You can say. Honestly, honestly, one of the main reason why I want maybe why I'm so desperate and trying my ass off to leave my current job because. Fuck, I hate, I hate loud crowds. I get so fucking stressed and freaking anxiety in that damn place. I just want to be in a, I just want to, I, I would love to find a job that, that, uh, that, that fit me, that has my type of charisma and vibe. I'm like, you know what? I can totally see myself working here, and I will be down to send my application to him right now. So fucking Ohio is so damn limited for that shit, and it pisses me off. I hate living down here. My fuck. This ain't no California or San Diego, to be fair. I'm down to live in San Diego. No joke. San Diego has what I'm looking for. In fact, they have a lot of Toku down there. Hell, not just fucking that. Not, not, not just fucking that. I will, I will be down to work at, uh, fuck, I was at Anime Jungle. Nah. No. 
Well, maybe, but again, I don't. I don't live in California. I've been there one. I've been there one time. But uh. But uh, yeah. I will. San Diego has what I'm looking for, dude. It may be expensive living down there, but I will take it. Unfortunately, why? Between that or Ohio. I read. I read go. I read go find. I read go find. I read go find like Tokusatsu stores down there. Cause there's none over here, dude. There's nothing down here that I'm looking for that I can't buy in person, and it sucks and pisses me off. I had to waste all my money on freaking import sites. I mean, I love import sites, but at the same time, dude, I rather go to the store. And go buy it in person than doing that, but no, there's none here. And it's stupid. <sighs> it sucks. It just sucks. It just it just really sucks, that's for sure. <sighs> I just wish that uh a lot. Of, I, mean, I just wish that I can just tell people that uh, I'm not having a fun time living down here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This got a little personal. I want to talk about more, but I'm just going to end right now. I'm going to go to bed. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow my social media in the description. Put the notification button on for my next video. And yeah, press the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs this year. And if you guys help, we can do it. And uh, yeah, guy, thanks for listening. My name's Broku. I'm gonna say Aaron now, but my name's Broku, and I'm out. Peace. Have a nice night.